All right, this video is going to walk you through the steps necessary to link a Google Calendar to your school box. I want to tell you right now, and um, Senora Mogensen can back me up on this, if you mess around with Office 365 calendars, you run an excellent chance of crashing your page. And frankly, at this point in time, school blocks has no solution for that crash. So just back away from your 365 calendar right now. I know you're thinking about it, just back away. All right, let's run through the process here. Um, I'm already logged in. I'm going to migrate to my page. I'm going to pick on some people before I go. Tammy Carpenter, would you look at you? I don't see a single picture. And your brother from a different mother, Mr. Carpenter, doesn't have a picture either. And Elizabeth, you don't have a picture. Bad, bad, bad. Not, not bueno. Let's go down through here. Oh, Mr. Hicks, no picture. Move on. Come on, guys. Let's get some pictures going here. All right, I'm through. Back to Mr. Smirky Face. And I think I'm going to jump into my Computer Graphic Design 2 page again. This is by no means what the page is going to look like, but once I'm done making videos for you, I have to get around and build my own page. So for now, this is what we got. All right, so I'm just, I'm just going to park it right here. I'm going to make a new tab, and I'm going to type in calendar. Calendar. Dot Google. Dot com. Okay. Now, I've I got some stuff going on here. That I think I'm just going to get rid of just not to confuse you. Mm. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. What you should see is something that says My Calendars. And what you want to do is you want to create a new calendar. And here you want to add your class name. So we're going to go Computer, Computer Graphic Design 2. And uh, that's about all we need for this. And we're going to create the calendar. And it's going to buzz and whir and buzz and burn and buzz and whir. And there it is right there. Okay. Let me talk to you about these little gizmos here. These little color blocks activate or deactivate the calendar. So it's possible that you could have multiple calendars and you can link them all together by just clicking on a couple of those and activating the color block. Most of us probably won't do that. We just want our class, our specific class calendar selected. So that's how you go about doing it. All right. So month. Let's see. Monday is paid. Is a. Uh, we're gonna. What we're gonna do to the model? We're going to. Oh, I know what tomorrow is. Chili. Chili, nope, sorry Mr. Smith, chili, cheese, fries, day. That's what my kids tell me is the only thing noteworthy about Thursdays at our place. Let's save that. There he is. And put in something in this here. We're going to put in um, vocab, Larry quiz day. And on and on. I probably will go into detail a little later on on some of the more fun things you can do with this calendar. But um, for now, I'm just going to add 
I swear I was going to add. Let's try that again. Vocabulary. Vocabulary. Quiz. Dip. Save. All right. So you can go ahead and load up these events now or later. It doesn't really matter. Let's talk about linking. So I'm going to come over here and click on this little down gizmo. I want to share this calendar. This is really important. You get this part. You need to share the calendar with others by clicking here. And you want to make your calendar public. Um, I really, at this time, I don't see any utility in just linking, just restricting it to people within this organization because there's always going to be kids who um, can't figure out their login or are new to school or whatever. There's a, a jillion re million reasons that why, but I just don't like restricting it. So I want to make mine public. And this can stay there as see all event details. And I'm going to save this thing. This says, you are making your public counter, counter public to the world. Yes, I'm sure. Okay, I'm going to go back. And I want to show this calendar again. This time I'm going to come over here to calendar details. This is the really tough part that if you didn't know this, you would never in a million, trillion, billion years know what to do. This little icon right here that says iCal. This little icon generates what's called an ICS file. An ICS file is kind of the common calendaring format throughout all of computerdom. So we want to use that. So we're going to click on iCal. My wife's talking to my cat right now. And what I'm going to do is I want to copy this link address. Okay. So I'm done with that. So I'm going to jump back here. I'm going to click and add a block. And I'm going to come up here to events. Yes, the evil events block. It now works sort of okay. And I'm going to title it CGD2 class calendar. Right here. So that's the ICS file I referred to. I'm going to paste. And that's what you're going to see. If you see that, you are golden. But wait, there's more. I'm going to add this block. This is something that Reed and Alan at School Blocks made a big point of telling me over and over and over again. They made an enhancement to this block just recently, based probably based on um, uh, Honey Badger's caterwauling and constant calling them on the phone. But what they provided is this. This allows you to view the full calendar. Isn't that cool? And it's interactive and everything. So this is a pretty slick deal. I do not believe at this time, because I haven't spent a lot of time sciencing this thing out, that you can add events directly to this. I think you have to do that from this environment, the Google Calendar environment. But it still is a pretty slick deal. And to get out of it, you just back, hit the backspace button. takes you back. So I think this is a significant improvement in our calendaring for um, your classroom unless you really want that calendar full view all the time then you're probably going to be disappointed with this but most people I think are going to be pretty happy to have both views available to them all right so there you have it that's all there is to Google Calendar um, as again as I get the Google Calendar get more deep in the weeds with Google Calendar probably a taking a Linda class or two I'll come back to you and show you some tricks